Before we move forward, we need to take a second and look at the entropy of phase um, transitions. And we'd already been doing that, looking at gases and turning into liquids and vice versa. And one of the nice things that we can say is that there's an equation that relates the delta S for a transition and the delta H of a transition. And all you have to do is take delta H and divide it by the temperature of the transition in Kelvin. But what's nice about this is the sign on delta H and the sign on uh, delta S for a phase transition tends to be the same. If one's negative, the other one's negative. And we spent a lot of time talking about enthalpy of transitions. So we can use that to look at the uh, entropy of transitions based off of this equation. So moving forward, this says, this simple equation says that the enthalpy of a transition, which is going to be, going to be in kilojoules per mole, divided by the temperature of the transition. So by that we mean, uh, say the boiling point of water is gonna be 100 degrees C, the freezing point of water is gonna be zero degrees C. Where, whatever temperature that that transition occurs, that's what we're gonna plug into this equation. And from that, we're going to get our entropy of uh, transition. So in this case, we're going to be getting out kilojoules per mole Kelvin. And the same thing, uh, that the signs are going to be the same. So let's look at a basic example of this. So I give you benzene, and I tell you that the enthalpy of vaporization is 30.8 kilojoules per mole. And remember when we talked about the enthalpy for transitions, that we can go both ways. I can turn, in this case for vaporization, that means I'm turning a liquid into a gas. But remember, this is going to be the same number for condensation, turning a gas into a liquid. All we have to do is put a negative sign on there. And remember that it's up to us to put that negative sign in there. And so I'm gonna give you a way um, to be able to check your answer. And that's something that we wanna be able to do in chemistry is apply a, a chemical common sense and say, does this answer make sense? And really what we're gonna be applying is that the delta H and the delta S really need to have the same sign when we're talking about transitions. So as written, the enthalpy of vaporization is going from a liquid to a gas. And that's what we're asking for here is the entropy for the phase change. So we don't really need to do anything with our enthalpy of vaporization. The other piece that we need is the temperature for this transition. We say the boiling point is 80.1 degrees C. We need to convert that to Kelvin. So the enthalpy of uh, vaporization goes in here. I turn my 80.1 degrees C into Kelvin. I divide one by the other one. I get a delta S of vaporization of 0 0.0873 kilojoules per mole Kelvin. And you wanna take a second and say, does this make sense? So yeah, uh, if I wanna turn a liquid into a vapor, I have to put energy into it. So the sign on my delta H should be positive. And also going from a liquid to a vapor, we are increasing disorder. Liquids are, the atoms are actually touching each other. Vapor, the atoms are not touching each other. So disorder is increasing. So it makes sense that we get a positive delta S in this case. So entropy increases, so my disorder increases. So we want this to be true. But going in the other direction, things kind of change. Uh, we get the mirror image. And remember that delta H of condensation going the other direction is related to my delta H of vaporization with a negative. So condensation means I'm going from a liquid, um, excuse me, from a gas to a liquid. And so I need to put a negative sign on there. So the delta H of condensation is related to the delta H of vaporization, it's just the opposite of it or the negative of it. So it's up to me to know that I need to put a negative sign in here when I'm looking at the enthalpy, um, uh, excuse me, the entropy of transition for going from a vapor to a liquid. So we look at this, we're still using the same equation and now the delta H of condensation is negative 30.8 kilojoules per mole. And the, uh, the temperature of transition is the same, 353 Kelvin. And I do the calculation and same deal. I get a 0 .0, same number, 0 0.0873 kilojoules per mole Kelvin. But I wanna take a second and say, does this make sense? So my delta H is negative. So to go from a gas to a liquid, I give energy off. And so that corresponds to a delta h of a negative number and when i go from a gas a highly disordered system to a liquid a less disordered system 
the overall disorder of the system is decreasing and that corresponds to a negative delta S. So this is one way inside of when you're looking at the entropy or delta S of transitions, you wanna take a second and think about it, does this make sense? And in this case, a negative number does make sense. We're pretty sure about the um, calculation.